back. Road Trance for Black and White Sports XFL Saturday. What's up? Preview. I'm ready. I'm fired up. <laughs> Yesterday, I started like, I was like, oh, there's football tomorrow. How about that? So, we're going to preview the games, and we start out with a doozy today. DC Defenders welcome the New York Guardians into town. That's right. Ohio State's Cardell Jones against Penn State's Matt McGloin. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Look, Cardell played pretty well last week. 16 to 26 when I got to digging. 30, uh, two 30 plus yard touchdown passes. And look, that crowd in DC is awesome. They the the rest of the league needs to take note. They put that in Audi Stadium and that stadium felt packed to the gills. The fans were up close to the action. That is a true home field advantage in the XFL right there. Um Pep Hamilton against Kevin Gilbride. By the way, they last met when I got to looking because I knew surely they had met as either offensive coordinators, quarterback coach, something. Uh, Pep was with Lovey Smith in Chicago, and Gilbride was with the Giants. The Giants beat them. Uh, 21-16, that was the 07 Giants Super Bowl team, by the way. Uh, Matt McGloin played pretty well last week. Not great, but pretty good. 15 to 29, but the thing that's got to be a concern to Cardell Jones is that New York Guardians defense, which was nuts last week. Five sacks, led the league, three forced fumbles, and they were all over the quarterback's asses. Okay. However, I can't pick against Cardell in D.C. in D.C. with that home field advantage. I can't do it. Okay. Um, I'm going to go 24-23 in a squeaker. And if New York wins, it won't shock me at all. Um, Cardell is trying to throw his name into the ring. This, this league will survive based on manufacturing its own stars, particularly at quarterback. And I wish every team in the league played in that kind of little like soccer MLS stadium where 17,000 feels like a massive crowd on TV. Okay, so we'll be interesting. We're going to keep tabs of all the, the attendance and everything on this channel. So hit subscribe. Uh, in the next game, we've got the Tampa Bay Vipers coming into Seattle. The Dragons, okay? My pick for league MVP is former AAF quarterback Brandon Silvers. That's him up there on the screen for the Memphis Express. Cool uniforms. God, they had cool uniforms. Um, Memphis did. Against Quentin Flowers. You may be like, why do I know that name? The former star South Florida quarterback who was a stud. Um, now, Flowers, I, I just, we're going to do a little get to know you during these previews, okay? And I feel like this league, again, is going to build its own stars. P.J. Walker for Houston, the Roughnecks. Dual threat, he is out out, to, out of the gates, okay? Matt McGloin's got potential. Brandon Silvers, um, surprisingly, Aaron Murray, again, did not look good for Tampa Bay. So maybe a dual threat quarterback's going to take his job. Uh, Aaron Murray is out this week. He's out. He's injured, okay? And uh, Tampa Bay fans, that may be a good thing. Um, so we will see about that. Uh, Mark Tressman, I don't trust Mark Tressman. I know he won three great cups in the CFL. Both these teams are 0-1, by the way. 
We're in, in New York and DC are both one and zero. Okay, so something's got to give. Um, Brandon Fla- uh, Brandon Silvers did have a good game for Seattle last week, but his completion percentage was not great. I did get off to a good start though. Uh, Twenty one of forty passing, two seventeen, three touchdowns, but he threw th- two interceptions. A uh, couple, one other name to watch for, Ricky. Ricky Prohl's kid, Austin Prohl, is a wide receiver for Seattle. Five receptions, 88 yards, two TDs last week. For Tampa Bay, they've got the big Davion Smith. I'm a Michigan fan, and he showed up last week, averaged uh, just under five yards a carry, had 79 yards. They've got a wide receiver named Daniel Williams, who had it 123 yards last week. So... Uh, going to be interesting there, you know. Um, I'm going to pick Seattle uh, home field because I don't – I can't figure out if Tampa Bay is that bad on offense or if New York's defense is that good. So we're going to learn something today about Tampa Bay. Okay. Uh, so – We'll we'll find out. Now, uh, Quentin Flowers, seventy-one touchdowns passing in college at South Florida, forty-one rushing touchdowns, eleven thousand total yards in three seasons plus five games. Going to be interesting to see if he breaks out. If he's one of these dual threat XFL guys that break out. And let me, on a side note, just say this. Johnny Manziel, you, you're making a mistake not getting involved with this league. Um, look, the league does need to do a better job of making the product look better on TV from the standpoint of packing the stadiums. they got to figure out how to keep them crowds close where they don't do those wide shots. Uh, Peter King for... Um, NBC Sports this week was talking about it looks like the city is not engaged when you have that many empty seats. That is a fact, whether anybody likes it or not. That's a fact because you have to bring in the casual football fan. Us hardcore fans, we're all in on this XFL, okay? We want to see it work. Darren Ravel of ESPN this week said that the revenue off of attendance is already surpassed the AEF and all the games they played. So that's a great sign. And the television product looks good. And it's great that ESPN has put guys like Steve Levy, one of their best dudes in college, on these games. He was on the Ryan Rosillo podcast talking XFL this week. Good stuff. Okay, good stuff for the league. Um, so just to recap, I took D.C., over the Guardians, um, I think maybe Cardell Jones is probably the, you know, we're going to find out. We're going to find out uh, which is going to give. That crowd was chanting MVP for Cardell last week. Cardell against that New York Guardians defense. 24-23 there. 30-24 Seattle in the second, uh, in the second game. Okay, so and 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 tomorrow I'll be back. Houston, Dallas play tomorrow, not each other, but um, I believe Houston plays the Battle Hawks, and uh, Dallas I think draw the draw the Wildcats tomorrow. So we'll find out. Peace. I'm out till next time. 